to this little tutorial. I want to show you how to create interactings that can be killed by an equipment like a sword. So first let me show you what happens here. There's two different swords <laughs> and a little healing heart and there's two enemies standing around. And I take the normal sword. I walk up to one of these guys and I <coughs> hit action. He was already harmed. Let me reload. So he will get back his energy. <coughs> I hit him once and you can see he's being hurt. <coughs> I hit him twice and then <coughs> I get a little coin and he's gone. He will be gone from this position for 15 seconds and then reappear. Same with this one. <coughs> one, two. And I missed the coin this time. And you can see the sword has a little effect here to indicate that it's a wide ranging sword. What happens if I come too close to this enemy? <coughs> he will hurt me with his axe or hammer. And you can see my health is going down, but it's made to not heal in this area. So <coughs> I can be hit twice, maybe three three times I die. <coughs> now I'm dead. So this uh, this area is created of uh, several parts. Let's start with the sword. To create a sword like this, you go to type holdable, change to equipment, and then you would draw your sword. And then there's a little attribute, wider range. If I don't tick this attribute wider range, then I can't hit the enemy unless I'm standing right over the enemy. And if I'm standing right over this person, then I will die already. So that's why wider range can be used. And then if you stand here, you can use this equipment to affect the person even when they are n not quite over you. So I would use these two. And then I would name it, for example, sword or special sword if it's supposed to have special abilities and I'm also attaching a motion but let me first show you what it looks like without the motion <coughs> equipping now this is the normal sword now I want to have a little indicator that it's a wide ranging sword so I go to body and I change to motion. I don't need this, I don't need this, but I need this. I'm drawing this quicker uh, than the real images. So this would be my swoosh. And it would not replace the body, it would be quick. Actually we don't need this. It would be uh, very brief, it would be fast and it would go forward. What else? It would start immediately and there would be only one of them. So that's my swoosh. Well, let me try it. If this works. Okay, this looks good. Now I want to attach this swoosh to the sword. I click the motion icon. Whoops. I meant to click this. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this. Now I save again. I equip my sword. And now you can see a little indicator that it's a wide ranging sword. And I did the same. I did the same with this sword. <coughs> now, what do the interactings do? First of all, they will test if they are being hit by the sword. So let's first look at this line. If this interacting touches a wide range sword, which is just the name of the equipment, it could also be called special sword or anything. And if the person isn't already harmed, 
then the person will be harmed, which is just my little state to remember if the person has already received one hit, because I want the interacting to disappear only after two hits. So now this person is harmed, and there will be little motion, an interacting motion, harm warrior, so he will jump back a bit, there will be a little pixel blood effect, and then I will play a little sound, the sword hitting sound. I collected all the sounds, so if I want to have a special sound, I just search, for example, for sword sound, and then and then I can right click. And when I right click, I hear a preview of the sound. And if I like a sound, I just include it here in the list. And then I can reference it by name. And then there's a minimal waiting time and then we continue to space, we continue with a sound effect called um, pain grunt and oops, I'm playing two here, that's wrong, okay, should be only one okay, and the second time a person is hit what happens is if they're already harmed then they will basically die first we play a um, the motion again to show the effect of the sword. We play the sound again and this time we are also throwing a collectible coin which is a item, a holdable item with the attribute gatherable so that you can just touch it to collect it and this person will also drop their axe. We are resetting the harmed state for next time the person reappears and now the person will replace itself with nothing. This is the places command and 0, zero is the co uh, coordinate of the interacting itself so basically this line means disappear and there's a little there's a little alternative sort uh, feature that I can use. If a strong sword is touched then he will immediately go into the into the dying uh, mode. I could actually simplify this by using or like this. And if I'm just touching the person without using any equipment, so if the reaches event fires, then the warrior will hit me in return with a little motion and the harms command. So let me show this again. This time I'm picking up the strong the strong sword. So if I just run into this person now, look at the motion he will do. He will just yield his axe one more time. If on the other end I click, I tap on the spacebar, he will disappear. So you see only one hit was needed with this special sword. So why does my health bar not auto heal? That's because I used an um, area global interacting which uses the command they don't auto auto heal. I can show you. Oops. So I call this fortress area logic and all it contains is this line someone arrives which is basically somebody joins or right at the start then they don't auto heal. Until next time that I would use this command, they auto heal, this would mean that no healing is uh, done here at the health bar. However, there's a little gatherable here. If I collect the gatherable, you can see my health is restored um, a bit. I can also put two here. And now I'm fully uh, fully healthy again. So let me clone this heart to show you what it does. This is the first cell, the ungathered state, and this is the second cell, which is basically just empty. Could also draw a little remainder here, but I want to keep it fully empty. And the attribute is just heals and bubbly for the effect. 
if I wanted to make this heart more rare and reappear slower, I could use, for example, 10 minutes, 2 minutes. I could randomize this a bit or even longer. But I made this to reappear very fast for testing purposes. So let me try again. Instead of hitting this person, they will hit me. My health is at maybe 60%. I go collect the heart and I'm fully restored. Um, another way, by the way, to restore your health <laughs> is to either die or reload. <laughs> one, one thing I need to show you how to actually put this area global into the area. Just click the menu, you click your area name and you see a little brain or head icon here. It was already pressed but now it's unpressed. If I click it again I can select my fortress logic. As soon as I hit save here it will reload and it will be active. So this means for the whole area and every sub area inside this area this someone arrives they don't auto heal is active so let's say i have a normal spike here i should have some spike here if i have this pair of spikes and they hurt me i also don't heal by the way there's a new attribute which is more harmful. More harmful will hurt you more and extremely harmful will almost kill you. Let's try. Let me first restore my health. And now I'm almost at zero percent. If I walk over this one more time I will die. So and that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And this was just one example of what you can do with interactings and healing and harming and wide range equipments. But you can mix and match this into, into any kind of uh, need that you have. And maybe you can come up with something completely novel. Hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.